What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old Dog and Time Period to Chill here. That's my artist name. I'm a recording artist. One name, three personalities. Old Dog and Time Period to Chill. Old Dog is kind of like a thug. He's a little bit gangster. Old Dog is like um, sexually explicit, but you can't take him seriously. He doesn't take himself seriously. Um, he's a nerd. He's a dork. That is Old Dog. The second term is and Time Period. And Time Period is more tied, of who, uh, more tied into who I truly am. That's why and Time Period is in the center. Old Dog. Anti Imperial, the chill. Anti Imperial is all about upliftment, education, international political science, micro and macroeconomics, world history, geographical studies, philosophy, psychology, sociology, physiology, and things like that. That is anti Imperial. And the last term is the chill. And the chill is a hopeless romantic, all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that. You guys, this is in my mind. This is not diversity outspoken. This is in my mind. Why am I wearing a hat? Because every time I wear a hat, it is in my mind. I'm holding my thoughts in my mind. The hat keeps it. The hat keeps the thoughts in the mind. It holds the thoughts in there. This is in my mind. You guys know I do diversity outspoken, and that is nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time zone. This is not nine o'clock p.m. Eastern time zone. This is much later. This is in my mind, you guys. In my mind. Whenever I'm wearing a hat or something on my head, that is an in my mind episode. I have diversity outspoken episodes, and I have in my mind episodes. Mikey E. Michael, I see you. M I K E Y underscore E underscore M I C H A E L. So this is in my mind, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so um, <clears throat> all right, so I wanted to come on real quick, you guys, and talk about the whole thing with Fifty Cent and um, the whole exotic thing. So Fifty Cent came on recently. I think he was on with what Little Wayne, um, Little Wayne's podcast show or whatever it was, and he was talking about how um, he likes exotic women and stuff like that. The beautiful Cortland Ryan, I see you. It's all good. The beautiful Cortland Ryan. So Fifty Cent came on recently and was talking about how um, he likes exotic women and stuff like that and he doesn't like black women all right so so the, the, the title of this in my mind episode is 50 cent was correct exotic now let me explain why 50 cent was correct how you doing beautiful Cortland ryan good to see you good to see you um 50 cent was correct it's just that the way he said it was wrong okay 50 Cent was correct in him saying that he likes exotic women or things like that or whatever, and he doesn't like, quote-unquote, I guess, regular black women. Um, but the way he's saying it is wrong. Let me explain. So, for example, I think that, let's just take a name. I think that um, Tyra Banks is exotic. Now, Tyra Banks is a black woman, but to me, she's exotic because she's different. Because she has those green eyes. And you don't see, as you walk up and down your street every day, all the black women you walk past, it's not like all of them have green eyes like Tyra Banks. It, that doesn't happen. What's good is that? Oi, Greg, 489, O Y G R E D, Oi, Greed. O-Y-G-R-E-D underscore 489, I see you. So it's not like every day you walk around, you see a whole bunch of black girls like Tyra Banks, who has green eyes. So to me, Tyra Banks, even though she's a black woman, a black woman would be exotic. Because all 50 Cent was saying is, exotic is different. Not what you're used to. He just didn't know how to say it the right way. That's all 50 Cent was like, he just wasn't saying it the right way. But I understood what he was trying to say. He just meant exotic is different. So, for example, if in the United States, if 98% or 95%, let's say 95, 98% of black women walking around in the United States, if they all had green eyes like Tyra Banks, then green eyes wouldn't be exotic to me. If 98% of black women walking around had green eyes, then guess what? Brown eyes would be exotic. Because that would mean that, you know what I'm saying, 2% are walking around with brown eyes, so brown eyes would be different. But exotic only means different. So what 50 Cent was basically saying was, he was saying, look, all the women I grew up with, all the black women I grew up with in the hood, around me and growing up around me and stuff like that, 
once I got older, I started seeing other women of different combinations. And that intrigued me more. That caught my eye a little bit more. You guys, he's perfectly correct. That's, that's common sense. That is logic. Who's that? Ashley Rosado, 95, I see you. A-S-H-L-E-Y underscore Rosado, R-O-S-A-D-O, 95, I see you. It's all good. Ashley Rosado, 95, good to see you, sister. But that's all 50 Cent was saying, you guys. And for all the women that are complaining, first of all, remember, over here, I only talk from logic. The problem is, is that most of the women, and, and it's not, you know, black women, I'm not, I'm not coming down on black women, but most of the women, and, and, and that's what I'm talking about, oh, I agree, 489 says, yeah, that is true, appreciate it. Most of the black women that were talking to 50 Cent or responding to 50 Cent's video and all upset and all mad and he hates himself and he hates, he has self-hatred and all this type of craziness, you guys are just speaking out of emotion. Who is that? Most Terra, M-O-S dot T-E-R-R-A, I see you. You guys, Flash Not Hewin, 2019, I see you. You guys, and Greed, Greed 49 says all men want some exotic. Exactly, we all want something exotic, you guys. All the black women that were coming down on 50 Cent, you guys just speaking out of emotion. That's all it is. Y'all just speaking out of emotion. Because if you look, if you look at logic, Everybody wants exotic things. Everybody wants things that are different. I'll give y'all an example. All the women that are coming down on 50 Cent. I remember a few years ago, there was somebody on the internet that all the women got all hot and bothered about. All the women were attracted to him. Y'all remember um, a few years ago, y'all remember Prison Bay? Y'all remember that guy on the internet that got arrested. He was kind of like yellow skin and had blue eyes. All the women was all on the internet going crazy over this guy that got arrested. He had like a the tattoo under his eyes. He had blue eyes. He was like kind of like light skin, yellow. All the women were going crazy over Prison Bay. Y'all remember Prison Bay? People get arrested all the time. Why were all the women going crazy over Prison Bay? Because he had blue eyes, because he was exotic. Because he was different. Because he had blue eyes. He was exotic. What's going on, my underscore favor, underscore Kobe Bryant, I see you. That's why they were going crazy over Prison Bay. Because he had blue eyes. Because he was different, ladies. That's all 50 Cent was saying. He just likes things that are different than what he's used to. That's all he was saying. Don't get so crazy about it. Don't get so mad at 50 Cent. That's all he was saying. That's it. That's it. You guys, we do the same thing with like food. Let's say this. Let's say this, for example. Let's say that. Who is that? Who is that? Eliza Jean Chicktow. What's going on? Chicko. What's going on? E L I S A underscore G E N E underscore C I C A T K O. I see you, sister. It's all good. You guys, if I live in, dog, if I live somewhere, let's say, okay, I'm in China, right? My whole life, I grow up eating Chinese food. My entire life, everyday Chinese food. So Chinese food to me would be normal or regular, right? Now I get older. I get into like my twenties. I take a trip to Italy. For the first time in my life, I taste pasta, rigatoni, risotto, right? Pizza. I taste pizza for the first time in my life, right? Right? Follow me.
me here with this scenario. I was born in China. I lived in China my entire life. All I ate was Chinese food. But now that I'm 20 years old, for the past 20 years, all I've been eating is Chinese food. Chinese food is normal to me. But now at 20 years old, I take a trip to Italy and I taste Italian food for the first time. Pizza, pasta, meatballs, all that type of stuff. Who is that? Two is, two is the label, two is the label, two E-Z underscore T-H-E-L-A-B-E-L. -E -E I go to Italy for the first time, I taste pasta. Pasta is going to be so good to me because if I've lived in China and only ate Chinese food for the past 20 years, the moment I taste pasta, I'm going to be like, oh, shit. This is a whole new world. I love pasta. I never knew this existed. Pasta would be exotic to me. Different. Oh, my God. So different and original. So nice. And let's say, after I've grown up for those 20 years in China and only ate Chinese food, after I go taste pasta in Italy, Italian food, my next stop, I go down to Mexico. And for the first time in my life, I taste Mexican food. Tacos and burritos and enchiladas. Woo Quesadillas. Then Mexican food would be exotic to me and exciting and I want to taste it even more because it's new and it's different. That's what 50 Cent was talking about. And let's say me as a Chinese boy growing up in China eating only Chinese food for 20 years after I go to Italy and taste Italian food for the first time and Italian food is exotic and after I go to Mexico and taste Mexican food for the first time and Mexican food is exotic I go to the United States and for the first time I taste hamburgers and french fries and ribs barbecue barbecue ribs Barbecue hot dogs, hamburgers off the grill, Angus meat, steak, grilled steak. You guys, that's going to be exotic to me. That's going to be different. That's going to be something that I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. Where has this been my whole life? This is so new and exciting. That's only logic. That's all 50 Cent was saying. All 50 Cent was saying is, you know what? When I meet girls that are different from the black girls I grew up around, those girls are exotic to me and I want to be with those girls because it's new to me. It's exciting. It's different. That's all 50 Cent was saying. Everybody feels that way. Everybody feels that way. If you, if you don't think you feel that way, well then pick one food and eat only that food every day for the rest of your life. How bored are you going to get? Pick one food and only eat that food for the rest of your life. Okay. See what I'm saying? It's only logic. That's what 50 Cent was saying when he meant exotic. He just meant different. He just meant different from what he grew up with. Different from what he's used to. That's it. We all feel that way. That's it. If I see a black girl, there's a black model, dark skin, beautiful black model. She has blue. I'm talking about she has, I don't know her name. She has the brightest, bluest eyes. Not green like Tyra Banks, who Tyra Banks to me is still exotic because she has those beautiful green eyes. But there's a model, dark skin that has beautiful blue eyes. She's super exotic. Why? Because it's different. Why? Because not every girl you see walking around in the U.S., not every black girl you see has bright blue eyes. So she's exotic because she's different. That's it. 
That's it. It's all good. Don't get upset. 50 Cent was correct. All he meant was different. And just like all you females like the prison bay, that guy with the blue eyes, prison bay, years back on the internet, the same way y'all was all hot and hot in the, in the pants about prison bay, is the same way 50 Cent's just saying girls that have different type of features that are different from regular black girls that we see every day in the US, those girls catch his attention. That's all he was saying. I see you, Nadim 007 N N A D I M. Double O seven zero zero seven in the letter N. It's all good. What's going on, Toya Shy Neek forty two? I see you, but that's all Fifty Cent was saying, you guys. All right, that's all he was saying. I know y'all hate what I said. I know. Leave your hateful comments below. But that's all Fifty Cent was saying when he meant exotic. All he meant was different. That's all he meant, and he was correct. That's all he meant. All right. So for black women, I love my black women. Don't think he was dissing y'all. He was just saying that things that are different catches his attention. Just like Tyra Banks, who's a black woman, but she has green eyes. To me, Tyra Banks is exotic because she's different. That's it. That's it. Things that you do not normally see is exotic. It's different. Black girls with blue eyes, that's different. They're exotic because they're different. And just like I said at the beginning, as I get ready to go now, just like I said at the beginning, you guys, if all the black women in the United States walked around and they all had green eyes, then guess what? Brown eyes would be exotic because brown eyes would be different. If green eyes was the norm, if the majority of women that walked around had green eyes, then brown eyes would be exotic. That's it. But since most girls have brown eyes and most black women have brown eyes, yeah, if a black woman's different, then she's gonna be exotic to us. She's gonna be different. If another race of girl, if some Brazilian girl is different, then she's gonna be exotic because she's different than what you're used to. That's it. It's not hating on any type of woman. It's just different. It's just guys look at things that are different, original. Like, oh man, I've never seen that combination of women before. That's exotic to me. That's it. You know what another good example is? For all of the black women that think that we're hating on black women? Vic, what's going on? Vic, out here, I see you. For all the black women that think that 50 Cent's hating on black women? You know what another good example is? For everybody who's older, and this is much older than me, but everybody who's older, Grace Jones. Y'all remember Grace Jones? Y'all remember Grace Jones? If you probably ever saw Boomerang, the movie Boomerang with Eddie Murphy, Strong J, right? Grace Jones. She was exotic. Why? Because she had the low haircut. It was different. Some, some people can say something like Amber Rose is exotic. Because you don't see, you don't see the majority of women walking around that have all their hair cut off. So when she walks in the room, she's going to stand out amongst other women. She's going to be exotic because she's different. That's all 50 Cent was saying. That's all he was saying. He just appeals to women that are different because he feels like they're exotic. That's all he was saying. So he wasn't dissing no black women. Just women that are different, that have different features like green eyes, blue eyes, bald heads. They're just exotic. Man, if, I, if a woman were to walk in here right now that had a bald head, all her hair cut off, and cat eyes that are bright green or bright blue, with tattoos all over her body, I might fall in love, man. Because that's super exotic. If a woman walked in here right now, fit, nice body, tattoos, bald head, Cat eyes, those slanted cat eyes, and they're like a bright green or bright blue. I don't care what color she is. She could be the darkest girl ever. She is going to be exotic and different, and she's going to catch my eye. And she's going to catch most people's eyes. If she walks into a club or a restaurant, she's going to catch most people's eyes because she's different. Because she's exotic. That's all 50 Cent was saying. 50 Cent was just saying, 
I'm used to girls from I'm used to regular black girls from the like the type of girls I grew up with in my neighborhood. So they don't appeal to me. I'm attracted to different girls who are exotic. Different. That's it. That's all. That's all 50 Cent was saying. He's just attracted to different girls. That's it. Appreciate that, Vic. My tall Vic. The one and only. You guys, this was in my mind. Why was I wearing the hat? Because this is in my mind. This is not Diversity Outspoken. You guys remember, Diversity Outspoken airs 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone. This is way after 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone. When I do In My Mind, I wear the hat to keep the thoughts in my mind. Whenever you guys see me with something on my head, that is an In My Mind episode. That is not Diversity Outspoken. So this was In My Mind, you guys. I appreciate it. I am Old Dog Anti Imperial to Chill. That's my artist name. I'm a recording artist. One name, three personalities. Old Dog, Anti Imperial, The Chill. Old Dog is kind of like a thug. He's a little bit gangster, sexually explicit, but you can't take him seriously. He doesn't take himself seriously. He's a nerd. He's a dork. That's Old Dog, you guys. Anti Imperial is more in touch with who I truly am. That's why Anti Imperial is in the center. Old Dog, Anti Imperial, The Chill. Anti Imperial is all about upliftment education, international political science, micro and macroeconomics, world history, geographical studies, philosophy, psychology, sociology, physiology, and things like that. That is anti-imperial. And the chill is a hopeless romantic all about falling in love, raising a family, and things like that, you guys. This is In My Mind. Here on In My Mind, you guys, and we, we talk about current issues. We talk about current things that are coming up that just happen to come in my mind real quick. Just in my mind. That's all. Here on In My Mind, we have one rule and one rule only. And that is that you guys remain respectful of the environment of In My Mind. And remain respectful of the environment of each other, you guys. So just remain respectful of the environment of In My Mind as a whole. And remain respectful of one another. And I wouldn't have any problems here, you guys. I don't want to block anybody here. But I never have to block anybody here because we're all family, you guys. I don't never have to want to block anybody here. I never do with you guys, you guys. It's all good. Every day I do a daily historical post, you guys. So if you guys will get bored or just want to see what happened on that particular day. What's going on, Shady Slim? It's all good. We're almost done here. I came on. Shady Slim, I'm wearing the hat because this is in my mind. This is not Diversity Outspoken. You know Diversity Outspoken airs 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone. This is way after 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time Zone. So this is a in my mind episode. Whenever you guys see me wearing something on my head, that means it's in my mind. It's all good. But we just did a whole discussion about 50 Cent and how 50 Cent was correct, Shady Slim. But I'm almost done here. You guys, right after this is over, this will be uploaded into my IGTV. You guys know in my mind, I just come on at random times sometimes and just talk about things that are in my mind. And right after here, this will be uploaded onto IGTV. And in about, man, this will be uploaded onto YouTube in a little while. I don't know exactly how, how long. You guys, every day I do a daily historical post, you guys. So if you get bored or just want to see what happened on that particular day, going back decades, going back centuries, or going back thousands of years, you guys can check out my daily historical posts. I post those on Instagram and TikTok every single day. It's much better on Instagram, only because Instagram gives me the space to be as detailed as possible. But I do post those on TikTok, nevertheless, you guys. In order to get in touch with me on Instagram or TikTok, you can get in touch with me. Who is that? Luis Gallegos 2460. L-U-I-S-G-A-L-L-E-G-O-S 2460. I see you. It's all good. For sure, for sure. Well, you know I love you, Shady Slim. You're always on my mind, sister. It's all good. You guys, in order to get in touch with me on Instagram or TikTok, you can get in touch with me at anti underscore imperial. You see it right here at anti underscore imperial at anti underscore imperial don't forget that underscore you guys on instagram and tiktok you need that underscore at anti underscore imperial on youtube you guys the only difference between youtube and instagram and tiktok is that youtube has no underscore so to subscribe to my youtube you guys you can get at me at anti imperial with a space in between anti imperial with a space in between to subscribe to my youtube Instagram and TikTok, there's an underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. YouTube, no underscore. Instagram and TikTok, underscore. And that's how that goes, you guys. Y'all know I'm crazy. Y'all know I'm crazy. It's all good, you guys. If you have me on Instagram, the easiest way to subscribe to my YouTube is to go to my, go to my Instagram bio page, my IG bio page. You guys know on Instagram, we all get an Instagram or IG bio page. And on that Instagram or IG bio page, you get that one line for a link. And that one line for a link will always be my latest video. 
So go to my Instagram or IG bio page, you click that link, that video will come up. And once that video comes up, all you have to do is go ahead and hit subscribe button at that particular time. And I'd appreciate that, you guys. You'd be subscribed. Also, you guys, if you are watching this on YouTube right now, this will be uploaded onto YouTube. So if you are watching this on YouTube right now, my Instagram and TikTok links will be down in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, my Instagram and TikTok links are down in the description below. I appreciate that, you guys. That being said, you guys, exotic just means different. It's all good. Leave your hateful comments below. I appreciate it. <laughs> Old dog Anton Prill to chill. You guys know I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. I only think through logic, not through emotion. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world, you guys. Old dog Anton Prill to chill. You guys take care. All right. Peace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. You guys. Bye-bye.